What's going on guys? It is your boy Joel TFD here. Welcome back at again with a brand new review for you guys today. Today I have watched for the second time the new mutants. This is my little rewatch of what I'm doing for my role to Deadpool and Wolverine, which is so Freaking close, honestly, by the time you guys... Well, yeah, honestly, it's, like, gonna be really close. Next week, I'm actually gonna be releasing a video of me uh, and my, like, little, like, wish cast, fan cast for uh, the new X-Men, you know, for when they reboot it and everything. I basically did every single X-Men character, and I'm generally excited to really show you guys that on next week's video for the Road to Deadpool series, honestly. And again, it's just for my reboot, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'm actually really excited. I know you guys are here for the review, so before we head straight in, so make sure you hit the like button also subscribe to the channel if you're new I'm trying to get to 750 before the end of the year will really mean a lot of you guys can help me reach that goal but we're also generally close to hitting 600 subscribers so if you want to help me reach that goal instead that would also really mean a lot anywho let's head straight into the new mutants review i rewatched this movie i watched this movie a long time ago and i really thought the movie was really good honestly and i was young at the time but now re-watching it i do feel like this is like the weakest weakest one of the x-men films honestly i don't know i wouldn't say it's worse than origins it's kind of like there with origins if i'm gonna be completely honest honestly like i think the worst worst one for me personally was damn i i, I don't know I definitely have to do like a ranking after the whole thing honestly but it's definitely like my least least favorite of x-men films honestly i think what this movie really the only like pro thing about this movie honestly is literally just the character development i really liked how they built each and every one of those characters but honestly i feel like they nerfed them also but i just feel like the, the development for each character was like i think the most decent part of this movie honestly i kind of see the vision they were kind of going with you know like they were trying to basically reboot the x-men in some type of way like i'm pretty sure they wanted to just kind of take these characters and have them the new like type of heroes honestly for future x-men films and everything but it just didn't turn out well i'm pretty sure they were filming this around the time the pandemic was also so they didn't have a lot of characters in it and everything it was just literally like almost 10 people like yeah basically almost 10 characters in it i guess in a way it was all right you know it doesn't focus so much on other things you know um but like again i just felt like they could have executed it a lot better honestly like i feel like instead of having it being filmed in just one area you know but maybe again it could be just because of the pandemic you know they couldn't really do anything about it definitely should have like at least pushed this movie i felt like this movie definitely would have had at least some type of potential you know but i generally just felt like it didn't really hit the right spot if i'm gonna be completely honest Again, I thought the character developments were good, you know, uh, the only character that I really knew was Roberto, honestly. Obviously, when I saw it for the first time, I did not know anything about him, you know, but then now that I'm catching up with all the X-Men stuff and everything, and, like, especially with X-Men 97, you know, I was just kind of like, oh, shoot, so that's him, you know, so I liked his character because I, I honestly have some type of remembrance of him obviously but i do feel like they nerfed him a lot they nerfed everyone in this movie honestly like they didn't really show too much action they didn't really show like they didn't show a lot of action they again the strongest suit about this movie is legitimately just the whole like character development in this film which again it was not a bad thing i feel like there wasn't any emotional connection also with the characters so i've definitely felt like there was that definitely missing when it came to that but like again like i the only good thing that I liked about this film, honestly, and I will keep repeating this, is the generally the character development, honestly, throughout every single one. But of course, it had to hit us with the whole cringy message, honestly, about the whole, um, there's like two bears. My dad told me there was two bears. One bear for good and like all the good stuff basically and the other one with the evil and disappointment stuff and everything like that and my dad said that when we hit the whatever the bear uh which one wins and that like the bear like that you feed basically wins some type of shit like that honestly and i mean it was cringy but it was a good like i understand the <laughs> i understand the message don't get me wrong but i generally felt like it was kind of like cringy in some type of way because it's like do we really need that like narration i don't know it just felt kind of weird honestly again i i, I kind of blame the pandemic for it honestly because i'm pretty sure they filmed this around the pandemic you know so it's like definitely difficult but i felt like this should have been more into it you know like they could have waited i felt like this had a lot more potential for this whole movie it did not have to be like whole movie it could have just legitimately been like the first like 
30 minutes maybe and then like from there like add on a couple of extra things and everything i felt like this movie definitely would have had some type of potential and like because like don't get me wrong the actors were good i just felt like like they had so much more potential and like the fact it just felt dragged on this movie did generally feel dragged on and I feel like that's why the character development kind of just like sticks with it, you know, in some type of way because it's like we're seeing each and every one character in, in its own unique way, you know? And I think that's legitimately like my only like pro about this movie, honestly. It's like the weakest X-Men film, honestly, but it was still kind of like, in a way, I would say like a small percentage enjoyable, you know? It didn't feel like, uh, it didn't feel like I had to like wait there and be like, ugh. You know, but it did feel like a drag in some type of way. It's like a good, like, it has its percentages, let's just say that, all right? But that is going to be my review for the new mutants. If you guys watched this movie, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys like it? Did you guys think it was an or did you guys not like it whatsoever? I'd love to start a conversation with you guys in the comment section down below. And anywho, peace out guys, you guys too. Enjoy every day, make every day not today. Everyone stay positive, be positive. You guys already know to have a positive mindset. Peace.